So my dream game is inspired by a, a desktop wallpaper that I saw one day on DeviantArt. And it was just abstract art that consisted of a whole bunch of blue and white swirls, like little particles moving around, leaving trails. And I thought it looked awesome. And as some things do, it left this imprint in my mind that took the form of a game. And so um, I actually built a quick prototype right then. There was just a bunch of particles, blue leaving these little white trails, swimming around the screen. They would just follow your mouse around. And it was incredible. And that became the seed for this dream game. So I haven't worked it all out yet. Um, there's not even a working title. But there are certain things that I know about the game that I can tell you about um, solidly. So for one thing, I know that it's designed for a very accessible platform. Probably uh, the iPad um, is like a primary thing. I know it has very simple controls. So probably it's still something where just like you switch your finger across the screen and the particles are following you. And that's how you control your resources. Um, I know that it would probably be free to play. I don't know the particular monetization, but something that remains respectful of the player while still being very uh, accessible. Um, I know there's no tutorial. In fact, there can be no words in the game at all. Um, you can figure out the mechanics just from sort of watching things play out at the beginning and freely experimenting. I know how it feels to play. So it's strategic, it's thoughtful, but at the same time, things are taking place in real time. It's exciting, and uh, hopefully it's addictive. The sort of thing where you regularly are missing your bus stop because you're playing this game, because you're absorbed. So it's still trying to be respectful of the player, nothing like slot machines, not truly addictive, but just something where you can see the depth of this system once you started to interact with it. You can sort of project in your mind where it's going, and it's fascinating enough that you want to keep delving into it. I know the progression system for the game vaguely, um, something where every time you have a victory, the game sort of zooms out and reveals that what you were doing was part of some larger context and it shifts the uh, strategic balance, but keeps some aspect of what your strategy was doing beforehand. I know what it sounds like, I know what it looks like, and the only thing I haven't figured out is anything about the gameplay. <laughs> um, I have no idea what the gameplay mechanics are. So, needless to say, this game doesn't actually exist uh, in any meaningful sense. I have tried to make a few gameplay prototypes. I've actually built them out. Um, they were all terrible. I had things where you were pushing things around the screen, or you were trying to avoid certain parts of it. And nothing at all evoked what I just talked about. Nothing came close. So this answer may not be exactly what Andy intended when he gave us this prompt of pitching your dream game, but I would argue that this is actually precisely the definition of a dream game. Uh, like a dream, it doesn't really exist yet. Um, and in fact, it may be impossible in reality to make something that fits the description or the, you know, the picture I have in my head. Like a dream, even though it may not make sense, or even though I might not be able to explain it, I just know certain things about it, about characteristics of how it feels to play and things like that. And like a dream, even though it's not real, we can still use it to learn something about me or how my mind works. So my interpretation of this dream is that this game is a reflection of my own game design ideals. Um, it's minimal and it's beautiful in both the art and the mechanics. Uh, there's gameplay that I would normally call hardcore that's trying to be deeply strategic, but is focused on being accessible and bringing people into that hardcore fold. Um, it's serious about itself, but still enjoyable. It demands like deep engagement from you, but it never feels like work. So at this juncture, I am fairly certain that my dream game is in fact an impossible dream. Um, but just because the game doesn't exist in reality doesn't mean that the dream of it isn't real. It's very real. In fact, I can't get it out of my head. I've literally had this thing in my head for years, and it's impossible. Like, as far as I can tell, it, this thing doesn't exist in any meaningful sense. It cannot. So for now, I've chosen to uh, focus my efforts on building more practical projects, uh, things that are actually achievable. But um, I kind of know, if I'm honest with myself, that I'm not going to be able to get this idea out of my head. I'm going to keep on returning to it and thinking of it and imagining how cool it would be on occasion. And secretly, in the back of my mind, uh, I still hope that I'm wrong. I still hope that it's not impossible, and that eventually this dream game will escape from the realm of dreams and reach into reality. And that's my dream game. Hey! <laughs>